Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Hollywood, Florida at the Inside ETF Conference. And I'm here with Luciano Saracusano, Chief Investment Strategist of Wisdom Tree. Luch, great to see you. Good to see you, Tom. It's been an exciting conference, and I know you were just on a panel regarding currency head strategies, one of your core offerings, but now Wisdom Tree's getting to the point where you're going even that much more. Tell us about it. Well, we're going to 3.0. There was unhedged international <laughs> exposure, hedged, and now we've just launched dynamically hedged okay. international exposure. So the idea is, you know, the, the, the dollar is probably four and a half years into a bull market. The advisors are saying, well, how long should I remain hedged for? It's a difficult call to make. We've created an index that will help make that call for them based on three signals about when to hedge or not hedge foreign currencies. And so we think that's going to be the next wave of currency So hedging the advisor investment. doesn't have to worry about how much they crank to the left or crank to the right. That's all part of it inherent within the index structure. And it's dynamic. So yeah. we'll look at it every month and it has the p p potential to rebalance you know, monthly based yeah. on what's going on in currencies. So it's a very interesting way for advisors who typically would outsource that decision to an active manager yeah. to take control over it. It's very interesting, Tom, because I looked at the MSCI EFA hedged index returns, one, three, and five years. That index has beaten like 95 to like 99% of all of the actively managed international fund managers out there. What that's telling you is the active manager is not managing currency risk. If you were, they wouldn't be underperforming that hedged index. Yeah. So the point is if the advisor doesn't feel he's got the ability to make the decision about when to go hedged or unhedged, and the active manager is not getting it done for him, right. this is an index that can do that for you based on rules-based algorithm. It's all about discipline. Speaking of discipline, you've also launched a strategy for the first time actually going short, having a bear strategy at Wisdom Tree is a new thing. It is, it's a dynamic bear strategy, and it's interesting because it combines smart bait and liquid alts. So if you think about what's basically happening, it's a bear strategy that right now is 100% short the market because the signals for the market are overwhelmingly bearish. But it has the ability, in a, when the sun comes out, to get net long the market, about 25%. Or if the signals are mixed, it can be market neutral. That's what makes it dynamic. Most bear funds over time lose value because yeah. over time the market goes up. Yeah. This ETF has the ability to go up in value when the market's going down, but because it can get market neutral or net long, it has the ability to participate in up markets. We think over a long period of time, this can help reduce volatility in your portfolio and help protect advisors in, in down markets. Great, and, and what's the ticker symbol on ticker that? Ticker symbol on the dynamic bear is DYB. DYB. And then the dynamic long short, which is really the other market neutral version, is, is dynamic DYLS. Uh, DYLS, okay, yeah. Luch. Every time I see it, it's something new. Congratulations. Thank you. Great seeing you. Good to see you.